Zanzibar is a primarily Muslim island state, which is part of Tanzania. Its rich cultural heritage comes from diverse African tribes, Persia, Oman, Yemen, India, and even a bit of Portugal. Zanzibar Dance, Trance, and Devotion is an anthology of 26 performances and practices involving music and movement. Traditional dances are disappearing around the world at an alarming rate. On the other hand, the world is getting smaller and smaller. News of wars and disasters reach our living rooms in record time. But how much do we really know about one another as a human race? Do we know what people do during times of peace and celebration? Dance and music are universal languages where we can all find something different and fascinating about one another. We can also find common threads and be amazed by our similarities. Devotional practices are included, though they are in a separate context from dance and trance. Devotion is entirely different as it is religious and used to praise God and the Prophet. This filming was done with a handheld camera that easily fit into my purse. I tried to be as unobtrusive as possible, allowing the dancers to remain natural. Often, I didn't know what to expect until I was already filming. This project involved several trips to Zanzibar over a two-year period. First to film the dances, then returning and showing the edited versions to each group, getting their feedback and corrections. In 1978, a delegation from Guinea, West Africa, came to Zanzibar. They collected dances from Zanzibari villages and helped form the Karyako troupe, which now practices every morning. According to members of Karyako, at least half of Zanzibar's dances have disappeared. Directors from the group were instrumental in selecting the dances for this film. Often, when searching for dances, villagers would reply that the last person who knew that dance was no longer alive. 